Hey guys, so uh, a few of you guys happened to like that last video. It didn't do too popular, but uh, three or four of you guys asked for another video, so I said, fuck it. I'm making another one. I got this shit right here, so mine as well. Uh, so today we're doing the comparison of the ACH helmet, which is being issued today, and the M1 steel pot, which has been issued since World War II. So before we get started, you know, please like, subscribe, the whole thing. Uh, 15,000 subscribers, we'll get a picture of my cock. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So... M1 steel pot helmet. Issue since World War II replaced the, uh, oh, you guys are gonna hate me. Fucking, uh, Kelly helmet? Fuck, I don't remember. It's the World War I helmet. First we got the British, and then we made our own helmets, and then replaced by the M1. Pretty, pretty simple helmet. Hold on, I have it standing up with the canteen. What I like about this one is that the liner is actually removable. It allows you to have a steel pot, hence the name M1 steel pot. You can boil water in there. Uh, use it to shave, use it, just use it for, well, a pot. It makes a lot of sense, it's very simple. Um, you know, you have a nice leather strap around here, webbing in the inside. Uh, it looks pretty weak, but it's actually holds, holds, up, holds up pretty well. I do not have a nape strap in here. Don't know why, I thought I did. And I believe this is a post-war liner, but uh, fuck you guys. Liners are not my forte. This one does have a swivel bail. A lot of the World War II ones will have a fixed bail. And move on to the top. Now, the thing with helmets are, it's been highly, highly Hollywoodized. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Uh, where everyone in Hollywood starts doing it. The movies and stuff. It actually was very common in Vietnam to see helmet graffiti. Maybe not to this extent. This is a little bit overboard. But uh, this is my just started reenacting helmet. And honestly, I've kind of fallen over it since. Uh, this is very overdone. I will actually leave some pictures. It took some digging, but I was able to find uh, one picture of Afghanistan, a Marine having a graffiti helmet. So I'll leave that right here as well as uh, to Vietnam. Graffiti helmets. Okay, that, that should be done now. Uh, very simple design. It has a very simple hel helmet uh, cover. You know, there was woodland made for these ones. The uh, Ertl. We've South Vietnamese had tiger stripes and as well as the frog patterns from Marines in Vietnam. You can also use burlap sap, uh, sacks, sandbags. Or if you were uh, one of the Navy, brown water Navy guys, you usually wear no cover at all. But if you're an 11 trolley or some working artillery, you would usually have the tan side out of this helmet liner. I mean, the helmet cover. Very simple design. I personally like it. It's kind of comfortable for me. I actually like it more than the ACH. That's not nostalgia talking. It just, it just makes more sense to me. Uh, it's a little bit big, but I just do happen to like it a lot better than the ACH. Mainly because the chin strap. I just happen to personally hate the chin straps the ACH. You guys will see what I'm talking about. It's so bad. Uh, so moving on to the modern day ACH, adopted in 2003, I believe, and it's still being used today. Though you see a lot of guys buying their, own, a lot of special forces guys buying their own helmets and stuff. But this is the this is the main issue helmet for the U.S. Army. Uh, ignore the, ignore the ice. Yeah, iced out right now, bro. So uh, this is actually adopted from the German helmets, uh, the Pazgas. So they took the. Uh, Pazgas uh, were inspiration from the German helmets, and from the Pazgat, we adopted the ACH. So you can see right here, we have mounts. It was called a Rhino mount. We could put nods on there, or a GoPro, or whatever I want. I see a lot of gunners with uh, their goggles attached to it. I just personally don't like it. I just figured I'd include it in the video. A lot of extra helmet attachments. Well, there were a lot of helmet attachments in Vietnam. You know, you have the smaller radios. Um, what are they called? PRC 11s, I believe, could be put on the side here, as well as a couple other things. But you know, you can adopt some radio equipment on here too. Uh, moving on to the side, we have my last name and my blood type. This, which is also on our uniforms, the Velcros with infrared, because when you're using the night vision, you can actually look at the look through the infrared to see who front is our vehicles have it and the uniforms have it, as well as our Helmets, the helmets have them too, so I'll pop a couple of them out for you. Got one on top, some on the side, well on the back, and we have cat eye bands. 
These were adopted shortly after Vietnam. You can see the Vietnam ones do not have cat eye bands. If you have cat eye bands in your Vietnam helmet, just rip them off. I used to have them and I just took like a knife and just ripped it all off. That is post-war, that's kind of shit you see in platoon. So, uh, let's sit right there, helmet bands. It is actually a one piece. There's no shell, and the inside is actually these Velcro tabs, and you put these pads in the inside of the helmet to fit around your noggin. Hold on, Velcro this real quick. Let's see? And that's actually how the helmet cover is put in place. The helmet cover has the Velcro things in there. Attach it to these little Velcro circles. Just snap those on there. Actually holds up pretty well. I do happen to like this technique a lot. I just really like the idea of having a liner and a helmet. And then back here we have the nape strap. And then your nylon helmet band with a leather piece right here that goes up in your chin. Kind of like the World War II airborne helmets you'll see. It's like a little chin cap. I just personally hate it. If you're wearing it, you know you're wearing it correctly if you can't talk. And I, I just don't like it. It's really tight when you wear it correctly. You can't talk, squishes the fuck out of my fucking fat face. Uh, I wish I could just like wear it underneath. It just, you gotta wear the helmet correctly. So, uh, you know, not as loose as Vietnam or some shit, obviously. Plus, you know, I'm stateside at the moment. Until, uh, what day is today? Out of here in 10 days, motherfuckers. Shit. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, so yeah, that's a little quick comparison of the uh, ACH versus the M1 Steel Pot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to see any more comparisons, let me know. I'm kind of... Channel's kind of over the place right now. I'm posting a lot of stupid shit on YouTube shorts. And then uh, I'm trying to still do some military stuff. I want the focus of the channel to be military stuff. It's just hard to keep doing Vietnam military stuff since I'm leaving. And I was hoping to do some funny, retarded shit with my friends on YouTube Shorts overseas. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed us, the overall comparison. Uh, yeah, peace.